I'm going to warm up the palate here with something I have not had in a while, and you have not had ever. Yeah, but my palate's Her palate's gone, gone so she's just here to look good. I'm just here to talk. She is here <laughs> to look good. Um, this is the Crittenton's Four Grain Bruzel Pick we did um, back months ago now. I mean, we sold out of these months ago. Mm. And the finally, we just said, okay, it seems like all the issues are taken care of. All, all Everybody got their bottles. They, they got them. And Cinefax. we had the extras sent to here. So I have not tried this since that barrel pick months and months ago now. And so Crittenton's is a little tough on the wax here. This wax is soft, but I thought there's, I think there's like a, thought there was like something to pull there, but hand me the, the this thing. bottle opener there. Let's just go the old fashioned way. It's soft wax, but I can't can't get it off. It's not from wax. Oh my god. It's in the same vicinity. That smells delicious. It's very dark looking. Very I like that. I like everything about that. Man. I like it. It is like a little cinnamon graham oh, cracker. I actually can smell that. Deliciousness. All right, so while we're going through this, let's just kind of catch up on the news, the updates, barrel pick wise. We are waiting on the Clyde. Clyde Mays has landed. We are waiting on bottles. We were hoping they'd be here for this stream. They are not here. Mm. So we will have them hopefully by next week. If they are here this week, which we fully expect them to be, those bottles will go for sale on Tuesday, and those were the ones we, we picked in the Talladega video. Literally, the first barrel pick we did this year is now dropping. So we are just now getting those. It is going to be, they're really, it's a really nice um, bourbon and rye. If mm -hmm. you haven't had Clyde Mays, I get like slight apple notes on it, like a really good bourbon and rye. But it took a while. What Which is one is that? Is that our pick? our pick? This is the Crittenden's pick, the four grain from Crittenden's. Wow, yeah. that's really good. Yes. I don't know if I've had that. You have not had this one. That is delicious. No, yeah, this is the forgotten and four grain right do here. Do you know what? I know. It may just be because I'm first one back. recovering from COVID. And, but, I mean, I can taste that and smell it just fine. But do you know what that reminds me of? What? An Almond Joy. Okay. I see where you could get like that a little bit. Like the chocolate bit. and the coconut? I see we can get that. I think your palate's a little crazy. Maybe a little crazy. I'm it just... is. Like, this is a, it's a four grain. It's got a, a lot of malted barley in it. I don't know. I, it just made me think of, a, of an almond And joy. so, honestly, this reminds me of a young Willet Purple Top. Mm. Like, one of the younger Willet Purple Tops. This has very similar flavor profile. Um, very, very good. How does it compare to the five-year? Completely different animal. Very this, good. this four grains a completely different thing. That's his normal weeded mash bill. This one completely different. Um, this that's a good. This is a good bottle. I, if he has more of those, I want them for sure. Grab me another Glen. Let's see if we can try this rye right here. Same thing, rum finished rye. I haven't had it since that video. So I wanted to give this one a shot while we're at it. And then we're still waiting on the oh. Ben Holiday and. The 13th Colonies might be there this week as well. So we might be dropping definitely. I, I would assume we would drop it the week after next. But yeah. again, we don't know till we have bottles. What are the four grains? So it's it's like, it says on the back here, I think. I'll have to watch the video. It does not, it might give them right there, but they're really small. I don't know if with your, with your telescopes on if you can see that. I have not tried the Applewood Rye. The grain? Jane. Yeah. Like corn, it's a, yeah, corn, corn, rye, malted rye, and barley. So technically three, but two of them are treated different. So I need a 13th double oak, Joe. I don't have one. I might have one coming, but wow, it's been a while. that first one was so good. Oh. How many bottles have we got? <laughs> a good. few, a few. I like that one. These were really good picks. Like, we did so good on these Crittentons. I can't take I any credit. So I was happy. not there. I am so happy with both of those barrels right there. Like, you you try them in the Rick House, and sometimes, you know, you get back home and they're good, but they're not as good as you remember them. And both of those are better than I remember them. Ooh. Jo Blessed Assassin just joined. So, 
question. Wow. The, we are waiting on the Clyde Mays. They have landed in New York. We are waiting on bottles to make it here so we can review them and try them on a live stream. Uh, maybe do a video to help promote them. I expect those, those bottles to be here this week and for us to put them out next week, but we don't know until they arrive because weird stuff happens. Um, I'm still waiting on 13th Colonies. That should be out in Texas. Like, I'm expecting any minute to get an email. Um, the uh, Ben Holidays, we're still kind of waiting on those. The um, Still Austin will probably be January before we have those. This week in Patron, we should be announcing and asking for those that want to go on the Frey Ranch pick. Um, and so we should hopefully have that available for folks to sign up for. And we'll be picking who goes on the Frey Ranch pick with us. How do we buy store picks? Uh, one, be on the Patron. That's, that's going to be your best bet. If you want to get a store pick, join our Patron. There is a free tier. You don't have to pay. Now, if it's a really desirable store pick, it might be harder to get at the free tier, but you will at least know and you'll get all the notifications. Not a bad idea to sign up for our, our newsletter or mailing list or be on the Discord as well, but minimum, go to patron.com forward slash brusel, sign up for the free tier, and you'll be notified and then you'll get, you know, you'll get a link when that tier is reached to be able to to Reagan. buy one. When the next Brusel pick's hitting the web, I'm hoping we are, so we have a new rule. We will not put the picks out to sale until I have bottles here to review for y'all. Because people are like, hey, I don't want to buy it because I, I heard anything about it and other than the video. And so we are waiting on bottles. The Clyde May should be here this week. And if it comes this week, if we get those bottles, it will be for sale next week, probably Tuesday. Um, 13th Colonies is on its way. I'm awaiting word that it is ready and then I'll have them ship me bottles. So that literally might come out the next week. I don't know. We'll just have to wait till it, it lands and we get bottles. And then the Ben Holiday might be right after that or honestly it might hit. We might just do it in the 13th all at one time. Oh. Don't know. <laughs> like we might try to hold them a week or two and see if we can just drop those at the same time. Um, so soon, very, very soon. We just... Once they leave the distillery, we don't know until the, the distributor, because they got to go to the distributor, the distributor puts them through their system, and then they let the retailer know, retailer lets us know, and then they got to expedite us a couple of bottles. And so we just, we're going through that process now. Um, we should, uh, this Friday, Friday might be the final wrap up of um, our road trip. Mm -hmm. So it might be, and then we've got Memphis filmed, I've got Austin filmed. So we've got at least, they've got Columbus, Georgia filmed. So we've got a few filmed right now. How's the beer collab coming along? We have put four barrels of beer together. Um, I'm waiting for them. They said after Thanksgiving, I don't know if it'll be this week or next week, but I'm hoping to put another uh, six barrels down of beer. And then it's just a waiting game. We'll just try it every month. So the ones we just did have been in there for Almost, what's about a week and a half now, I think? Two weeks, maybe. Uh, what day of the week was that? You and Coley went to your thing. It was, so a was Thursday. That Thursday. So it was Thursday a week. So we are a week and a half. They've been in the barrel a week and a half. So give them another three weeks. We'll try them. How long do they have to stay? Until they're ready. Oh, like you just don't know? You just don't. It's kind of like having a baby. Until they're know? good. Kind of like having a baby. You think nine months sounds like, like just based on experience, but really it just comes when it's ready. <laughs> Which edition of Clyde May should I be looking for? What are your top three? So the older Clyde May stuff, if you find anything old, uh, was it they did a 12-year, 13-year? I hear those were exceptional. I didn't have them. Um, outside of that, I, I don't know. Like, those are the ones. The the, the teenage, the, you know, 12, 13, I think they did a 15-year. Those are the ones you want to get. Is there going to be a subscription for the app? Uh, no, the app is going to be free. free we, we'll free, figure out free. how to make money on it at some point. There may be some features later. You have to, like, I don't know if they'll ever, If I don't know if everything will be free forever, but our goal is to build a really cool app that everybody can use for free. Uh, you have a sick bourbon collection at my store, East Coasters. If you've got a, if you've got a bourbon store, liquor store on the East Coast, send me an email, info at brusel.com. We are going to go up on the East Coast at some point next year. Mm -hmm. 
Tim just got here. Update on the 13th Colony pick. Uh, dude, the 13th Colony pick is on its way to Texas. That's all I can tell you. And once it leaves the distillery and it's on its way, it's just in the ether until the, the um, retailer says, hey, the distributor just told me we have it. So it could be any day. My expectation, if I just had to guess, and this is a complete and total guess, is that sometime this week, the Clyde Mays bourbon and rye will show up on my doorsteps. We will be featuring those on the live stream next Monday, and those will go for sale on Tuesday. And then we will get the 13th and the Ben Holidays to Texas and drop those a couple of weeks later at the same time. That would be my expectation right now, but that could change depending on when they actually arrive places. Oh, Jack says, do you think 10 tier is high enough for me to get the chance to buy the holiday? I uh, don't know. I, it, those are going to go fast. Couldn't tell you. Uh, that would be like, it depends on if they, like if they both drop at the same time, that might increase your odds. If the 13th and the holiday um, drop at the same time. So I, like I just, it's hard to guess with those. Now we're going to limit it to one bottle. Or, I mean, you'll probably be, probably be able to buy one of each, but like one bottle of each. Um, I would say it. there's a chance it'll hit the, hit the 10 tier, but it'll be, early. like you gotta be quick. Like it won't last long in the 10 tier. Oh, I don't do Patreon. I can find barrel picks from you recently, even though I upgraded my membership. I can't. Okay, so on YouTube, yeah. Um, we will post them here, but like they just, they're sporadic, right? They come out every once in a while. Um, so that's like, you would be better off being in, of course, we don't drop them to Discord. We drop them here. We will drop them here. The problem with YouTube, Brian, is that they just don't send out the notifications. And so, like, if we drop it on Patreon, if you're in that tier, you get a notification or you can be sitting there waiting on it. But on YouTube, we drop them and they just don't even notify you. Mm -hmm. And so, it's just kind of a hard way to notify people. So, I love the support here on YouTube. I appreciate it. I'm just letting you know you would be better off ending this and jumping on Patreon if you wanted to make sure you have access to those, unfortunately. It is just, it's not us. Like we don't, I don't care what platform you're on. It's just much harder to communicate with you here on YouTube. Madigan, we are closing in on 500K. We should I hit that sometime in December. So theoretically in December, we should hit it. By the end of the year, if everything keeps going like it's going, we should hit 500K, which is just. I know you have better numbers than I do, but. Like, just nuts. Like it just, just blows my mind. Yeah, we're at four, Now a lot of them watch the watch the shorts, right? We've got a lot of short subscribers. I keep trying to figure out if we were a long form video and live stream only channel, how many subscribers would we have? It's a lot less, but I don't know what that number is. Is but Midwinter Night's Dram all hype? Mm. Let's find out, Jordan. Grab that Midwinter Night's Dram and that High West over there. Let's start giving those things little tastes. Oh, right the there. newer They're ones. Right there. Yes. I got gotcha. you, I see them. Yep. So what we've got is a Midwinter Night's Dram Limited engagement, Act 11, scene two, it appears, right there. And then this is a High West <laughs> cash collection, blend of straight bourbon whiskeys, finished in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels. These were sent to us by Josh Angel from TikTok. Oh, thank you, so, Josh. So, appreciate it, Josh. Thank you very much for sending these bottles. <laughs> I've only ever had one bourbon finished in Cabernet barrels, and it was absolutely awful. Um, so, that... No, 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 it's fine. This has a little bit of, like... It's obviously finished whiskey. Midwinter Night Drams are finished. I don't know what this one, this one's in port. That's what I would have guessed. Blend of straight rye finished in port barrels. Um, it's not super rye forward, like it's obviously a rye, but some ryes are just way over the top. The port adds a nice sweetness to it. Those are interesting. I like them. This is not the best Midwinter Nights dram. I just, it's, I've had a few. I don't buy every act or scene. They're hard to get. I don't chase them. 
Um, this one is not as good as ones I've remembered in the past. Now, maybe that's my palate evolving. Maybe that's, you know, whatever. It's a fine whiskey. If you like rye, it's finished in port. We're going to go back. We're going to go back to this one right here. Um, this one was surprising because the only thing I've ever had finished in Cabernet was a Jefferson's Cabernet finish. And I hated everything about it. Everything about it. I hated, I hated looking at it. I'm pretty sure I've still got it. It's in the back somewhere. I like that. That's surprising. That is surprisingly interesting. Ooh, that is a blend of Irish. straight bourbon whiskeys finished in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels. And when this arrived, I said, I feel bad because somebody gave me this bottle and asked me my opinion, and I'm not going to like it. Like, I just hate I love High West bottle. They've got a great bottle, this yeah, hand-blown glass bottle. with the logo embossed in it. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. But, yeah, I like the Cabernet better than the Midwinters. And I like the Midwinter. But it, like, it just tastes like toothpaste to me. Jeez. It just, like, it's, it's port finish. So port finish with a rye tastes like toothpaste. toothpaste. I can't even talk. It's not the alcohol. Um, Kyle said. Yet. It might be in a little bit, though. Benton Lee. Yeah, it's, it's like toothpaste. It's, it's got a little minty freshness to it. It does have a minty freshness to it. Yeah. What do you I think? like it. I mean, it's, I, don't, I don't dislike it. But well, you know what it puts me in the mind of? Toothpaste? I, it could just be that I'm, like, off tonight, but a, it kind of puts me in the mind of a scotch. A sc- okay. But not, like, it's good. Well, that's because you've been having fin- a lot of finished scotches. So you've had, the, some of the scotches we've been trying to report finished scotches. So they're very similar. Uh, Try this one right here and let me know your thoughts. What did, which one did you like better? This one. The, one I, the second one I handed mm-hmm. you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that... That is surprising because I did not think I would like that. That's really good. Which one was that? That's the Cabernet finished oh. High West. I like that one. It's, this right here is, again, I think this is Eric Church's Gypsy Whiskey. This just showed up in the mail. I don't know if this is something Will reached out to somebody for. It showed up. I don't know anything about it. I didn't pay for it. Googling it, it's really expensive. It's almost $200. Give me a fresh Glen Cairn. Let's give it Studer a try. Says- uh, all right, so let's. Uh, this is uh, Gypsy Legacy. This is a blend. What's interesting here is this is a blend of bourbon, rye, Canadian rye, and American single malt. This smells like a George Dickel. It Ooh. does. It's not. It, it says it's Indiana, and then the Canadian rye, and then an American single malt uh, blend. But it. It smells like a George Dickel. Oh, it does. It has that kind of like dry kind of oakiness. It's it's weird. It's like a sweet dry oakiness, which is like a weird combo. See now, Robert. From a George Dickel. Dang, I actually kind of like that. Um, <laughs> so I didn't think like I would on George the nose. Dickel, but without the mineral. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It is like George Dickel without the mineral really? flavor. Um, and so like, it's not, I would, I wouldn't pay $200 for the bottle and that's what I Googled. That's what it said it it was going for. I I don't know. Uh, it's a beautiful bottle. I love the bottle. I want to steal this bottle. This is the bottle I want when we do our own whiskey. I love this like hand hammered bottle, but I I don't know about $200 for it or whatever the MSRP. Somebody tell me the MSRP on that, but it kind of tastes like a George Dickel without the mineral taste. Like, it has the sweetness, the vanilla. Ooh. It has the kind of sweet but slightly bitter oak or dry oak, I guess it's is very the dry. Word. I'm sorry. That's very dry. It is kind of dry. It is a, like a dry oak. So, it's a, like a sweet dry oak, which I get on some of the Dickel stuff. But I kind of like it. Like, I kind of like it. I'm not going to drink it a lot. So, if we're going to review this, we're, we're working on, we're bringing back the Bruzel scores. We're working on the app. We're going to leverage them in that. A one star is, I don't, just don't buy it. A two star is, it's okay as a mixer. Three star being, I'll keep it on the bar. Four star is, I'll buy a backup bottle. And five star being, every one of them. I'll take every single one of them. Um, I think this is a solid three. 
I'll keep this on the bar. It's really? interesting. I probably won't buy another one, but I would keep this. Like, I, I think people would like this bottle. At $200, that's not including considering the price. But would you buy another one? Would three star means I does three star mean like if I'm gonna keep it on the bar, I guess that means I need to keep it all the time. Mm -hmm. So then I gotta put it at 2.9. It's at the high end of it's interesting. There's just something weird. But I wouldn't buy I wouldn't it. buy another one at that price. There's I mean, something weird, but that's what I, I kinda dig. It's kinda weird. It's kinda interesting. Like literally it it almost like it just was so dry in my throat. It, it is a dry whiskey. Now, if you could get a taste of this, great. At two hundred dollars, no, absolutely not. I would not even come. I would not pay a hundred dollars for that bottle. But I still kind of like it. Like I, I paid zero dollars for that bottle. It right. just showed up in the mail. Like it's just that. That's what we call magic whiskey. It is. A there's guy, something interesting. A about guy it. in a brown suit knocks on my door and then he just hands it to me. That's just magic whiskey. <laughs> um, so. I don't know anything about that, but not considering price, hmm. 2.9. Interesting. It's interesting. interesting. It's, it's interesting. 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 Because it is very George Dickel without the mineral taste, but I wouldn't buy one at $200. I wouldn't buy one at $100. I did try the Midwinter Night's Dram. It's good. So I, I didn't give it a score. You want me to score the Midwinter Night's Dram? Wow, this one, this this one's very interesting. That's okay. what I'm saying. It's weird. So it's a mix of three different. I said that age whiskeys, but did you didn't say the ages it's, of them? There's I didn't say the age. Seven and eight year old, seven to eight year old. MGP. Um, probably. The Kentucky now the bourbon's MGP. It's in it's Indiana. Okay. And then the Canadian rye is a twenty year old, and then the American single malt is four. No, it's a fun blend. It's 115 proof. $200 is nuts. I love the bottle. The bottle must have cost $120, though. All right, let's give this a score. What are you trying now? The gypsy? I'm going back to the Midwinter Night's Dream. Oh, you got the... Okay. So you're done with this one? Yes. So, again, good. Would not buy another bottle. Um, I keep Midwinter Night's... I try to keep Midwinter Night's Dram on the bar at all times. I do try to keep a bottle open. Do we already open. have some open? We do have one. It might be in the back. It might be out here somewhere. We do have a bottle open, but it never gets drank. So it's good, but it's not like backup bottle. Like I never, I have backup bottles, but only because I just find them and ours never gets drank. So gotcha. most of the time, my backup bottles end up going to friends that really want them because I'll end up with two backup bottles and I was like, I don't need that. It's a really pretty so bottle. So it's a great... Three, even three, three stars. This one, on the other hand, this uh, High West Cabernet Cask collection like is probably more like a 3.4. First of all, like if you own a liquor store, hit me up because we are working on the app. And what we're trying to do right now is build in some benefit for liquor stores. Like what can we do to help these businesses? And so we're talking to them about events and doing different stuff, but like, what can we do? Could, you know, if you do a drop or if you get an allocated bottle, could you notify folks within a 50 mile range or something like that? Like, I want to talk to folks that work at our own liquor stores to try to find things that we could build into the app to help y'all. 